We're getting near the end of the semester and my students are beginning to work on final projects. And I'm starting to notice a few things that people are having trouble with while they are fashion sketching in Illustrator. First issue to address, shirt collars. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I am a digital fashion specialist teaching digital fashion design and communication through my company, 383 Design Studio, as well as the Fashion Institute of Technology and Jefferson University. I talk about fashion design, digital software, and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So we've been learning to draw different kinds of garments in class from dresses to coats and jackets to pants. And now as the students start sketching their own designs, I can really see those areas that are challenging for them. And one area I've noticed that everyone is having trouble with is drawing collars. So today I'm gonna to do a quick tutorial on how to draw a collar. Collars can be tricky for a variety of reasons, particularly shirt collars. Some of the same things you talk about when you make a pattern or spec a collar, you also wanna think about as well when you're drawing one. Things like the collar spread, which is the distance between the collar points, the collar point, which is the distance from the collar band to the tip or point of the collar, the collar height, which is how high the collar sits on your neck, the collar stand, which is an extra band on the collar that helps the collar stand up against the neck and gives it a nicer roll. And the tie space, which is the distance between the top of the folded collar, where the shirt is buttoned and where a tie is normally positioned. Most of these terms, particularly the tie space, are more significant for men's dress shirts. But if you're designing a traditional women's blouse that has a shirt or notched or wing collar, many of these terms are just as significant. And all of these features change depending on what type of collar you draw. For example, a women's wing collar looks and is drawn very differently from a notch collar, or a men's traditional button down collar is drawn differently from a spread collar. Notice the differences in the angle of the collar points, the spread, and then the designer decides whether there will be a collar stand. So be clear about the collar design you want to draw before you're ready to draw it. And once you are ready to draw, here are some tips to get a good looking sketch of a collar in Illustrator. Number one, use the traditional method. I know I usually talk about using Shape Builder and the modern method, but I talk about how to use the traditional method in this video. And whenever I have a shirt with a collar, I tend to switch to this method. When it comes to drawing a collar, I think it's just easier. Two, make sure the edge of the collar drapes a little past the edge of the shoulder. This helps to sell the idea of the collar wrapping around the neck. If the edge matches up with the edge of the shirt, it could be mistaken for piecing that seamed into the shirt instead of a collar. Number three, don't forget to show the back neck on the front view. Because many of my students draw on a croquis, I think they forget that a flat sketch is a fashion drawing of a garment when it's completely flat. And when the garment is completely flat, without a body inside, you may see the back of the garment. So that needs to show on the front view. Drawing that will also help you shape what the back view will look like as well. Once you finish drawing each part of the collar, you'll fill the closed shapes with white and rearrange, bring to front, send to back as necessary. Thanks for watching today's video. If you want to take a great Illustrator for Fashion Sketching course, check out the link in the description to take my online class, Illustrator for Fashion Design Sketching Level 1. Or you can schedule a call with me to do private tutoring. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time.